Hi everyone, I'm Jumio Labanji and this is News for Now for Monday, March 18th. First, the weather. Just a few days until spring, but it's still going to be chilly tonight. Tomorrow, it will be cool but clear. Highs will be in the upper 40s. Now to the news. The man accused of killing reputed mob boss Frank Cali is heading back to Staten Island to face charges. Anthony Camello raised eyebrows as he appeared before a judge for the first time today. He had the words MAGA forever and United we stand scribbled on the palm of his hand, which he flashed at cameras in the courtroom. The 24 year old was arrested over the weekend, a couple of days after police say he intentionally crashed into Cali's SUV with the truck, then gunned down the reputed boss of the Gambino crime family. A motive is still a little unclear, but this does not look like a mafia hit. Sources say the leading theory right now is Camello Mello wanted to date one of Callie's nieces, and Callie said no. In Queens, the retrial for the man accused of murdering jogger Karina Vetrano is underway. He choked her until she died. Prosecutors delivered their opening statements today, hoping for a different result than last year's mistrial. Vetrano was found beaten, strangled, and sexually assaulted in a Queens Park in 2016. Police later arrested Chanel Lewis. He was linked by DNA evidence found under her nails and on her throat, as well as by his taped confession. Lewis maintains his innocence. Also in Queens, the MTA is trying to figure out whether metal that crashed into a car is debris from an elevated subway station. It happened just after noon today under the tracks on 115th Street in Richmond Hill. The driver says she heard something hit her car as the train passed overhead. And the MTA said in a statement they didn't find anything at the scene. It comes just after subway debris crashed into cars in Woodside two times in two weeks. A raging fire to tell you about in the East Village. This is video from the Citizen app showing flames shooting out of a bar on Avenue B. FDNY officials say they got the call around 2 o'clock this afternoon and that no one was in the business at the time. But residents in the apartments above described a scary situation. You know, your worst fear is realized. I mean, you're, you're really terrified. And finally, nobody hit it big in Saturday's Powerball drawing, but there are a couple of local winners to tell you about. Someone in New Jersey purchased a $1 million ticket at Baldwin News and Food Store in Parsippany. A $100,000 ticket was sold in Pleasantville. The jackpot in Wednesday's drawing Drawing, it's now at $550 million. That's all for News 4 now, but keep on watching to see why the NYPD says it's not going to answer calls about fender benders anymore. I'm Jumio Labanji. Thanks for watching. If you're involved in a wreck and no one's injured, the NYPD can't do anything for you. Starting right now on Staten Island, they don't even want to hear from you. We spoke with a woman here today who says a family member was recently involved in a fender bender and she called police thinking that was the right thing to do. She was surprised by what police told her. She called the police and they told her that there was nothing they could do. Why did she even bother calling them? What was her reaction? She was upset. Filling out an accident report takes an NYPD officer about an hour. On Staten Island alone, police get nearly 800 accident calls every month. It's a significant amount of time, and if we're talking about improving response times to emergency situations, it could really be a significant savings when seconds matter. The NYPD says it will no longer respond to fender benders on Staten Island when no one is injured. Police say the report they fill out is the same one drivers can fill out. It's really a common misconception among the motoring public that the police officers determine fault at these accidents accidents and they don't. They fill out a, a report and the insurance companies decide who's at fault. Here's what you do. Exchange driver's info, insurance and vehicle registration with everyone involved and then you have 10 days to file an accident report with the Department of Motor Vehicles. You can get that report online or by going to a police precinct. As a dad and uh, on the road, I try to be as safe as possible and if that means calling the police, then so be it. The NYPD will run this pilot program for six months, and if it likes the results, it'll expand the program to the entire city. Reporting on Staten Island, Drew Wilder, News 4 New York.